This is the Sailor 1911 large pen brought to us by Japan. It's a fountain pen, a little bit large as stated in the name. It was um, actually the father and son of the Nagahara family in Japan designed their nibs for Sailor for a very long time and the Sailor company is famous for their gold nib design. Nobuyushi Nagahara retired at 83 years old and he was wor he worked for that company for 60 years actually specializing in their sailor nibs and doing pen clinics around the world. This specific nib here on the 1911 large is a 21 karat solid gold. It's the smoothest nib I've used um, ever so far um, using fountain pens. It is a beautiful writer. Um, if you can see this or not, I'm not sure, but there is an anchor stamped on the 21 karat gold nib and there's also some filigree work stamped around that and it says 1911. That was the year that the Sailor Company was founded. It uh, takes about three turns to get the pen open and closed. A um, little against my preferences, I prefer a pull-off cap. I just like to write a little faster than that. But it's a tension fit. Uh, pen clip here so you can have it attached securely to your pocket. Uh, the raised cat band is engraved with the words Sailor Pen founded in 1911. The threads inside the cap, I just wanted to show you this real quick, are, um, sorry, are raised a little bit. If you were to stick your pinky in there you can feel it. That would be a problem for me over time just because I like to post. And right now, since I've been using it for a week, it hasn't done any scratching to the resin barrel, but I could see them wearing down or scratching the finish on the resin barrel over time, or possibly damaging those inside threads, which I wouldn't like. I haven't heard that this is a problem with Sailor pins. I just one reason I don't like to use um, screw-on and screw-off caps myself, just because I can see that damaging the back of the pen over time. This is a cartridge or converter fill pen, so it comes with both. Actually, I'll show you that real quick before I show you the inside of the pen. Here's all the things that come with the sailor. So it comes with your writing instrument instruction manual. It comes with your converter so that you can fill it with ink. It also comes with two black sailor cartridges and they are flexible, which I think is awesome. I haven't seen that design in any other pen. Um, so it means you could squish the middle to force some ink out, which I haven't, again, seen in any other pen. As far as the cartridge is concerned, I have an open one um, here that you can see. Well, actually, I'm sorry, this is the Sailor version. So this is the Sailor converter right here. You would plug this inside the back of the pen and then screw and unscrew in order to see that little plunger move up and down. That's gonna suck the ink up when it's attached to the pen if you're using bottled ink. Just wanted to show you a little comparison in terms of how much ink it will hold. This sailor here is on my left. This is an Aurora fountain pen converter. I'm gonna line them up to where they would attach to the pen. So you can see, that's where they would attach to the pen. You can see how much less ink a sailor converter would hold than say a typical Aurora. So it does have um, limited ink capacity on the converter. I've actually chosen to use the cartridges that come with it just to test the pen. Like I said, those are squeezable. You can actually force some of the ink out of the vent hole here. I won't do it because it makes a big inky mess. I've already done it once. I can tell you that does happen. Um, but you can force that ink out of the um, vent hole and the, to the tines so you can get to writing quicker or you can just traditionally you know scribble on your page a little bit until it starts. But it does hold, um, I believe the cartridges themselves um, appear to hold a little bit more ink than the converter which well, I guess if you're just kind of stacking them side by side here, it looks like it's going to hold a lot more ink than the, than the converter. So you'll get more um, writing if you like to use the cartridge versus the converter before you need to refill. Now, um, this pen, the 1911 Sailor Large, is an extremely well-balanced pen. I fell in love with it just writing with it over time. You're not going to find a smoother nib. I, I would be hard-pressed to find one after all the fountain pens that I've tried. I had heard Sailor pens were known for their nibs. I just had no idea how beautifully this pen would write. Just to give you um, some of the options available on this pen, the nib is available in extra fine, fine, fine medium, medium, broad, music, and zoom. And it's um, 139 millimeters capped, 121 millimeters uncapped, 11 millimeters at its widest point, which would be this cap band here, and nine millimeters at the grip, which where I grip the pen is right here below that little golden detail. 
Um, the pen is resin. It's available in black maroon, black matte, and um, or black with silver trim. Your choice. As far as a writing sample, it does write extremely smooth, but let me just go ahead and... Oops, it's actually the 1911 large. I'm going to be testing the sailor or the standard sailor next. That's the standard. This is the large. This is the one that I tested here. And this on the side here, I don't think you can see it, but it's actually a medium nib. So again, it's a beautiful fountain pen. If you'd like a more detailed review, you can check out my site at bestfountainpen.com. There's lots of beautiful pictures of this pen as well as a detailed review. Thanks so much for watching.